Hi everyone, welcome to the world of Splash Pro, the ultimate liquid splash tool for Photoshop. In just a moment, I will reveal how you can get your hands on the incredible brush that will take your design to a whole new level. But first, let's talk about the power of these brushes. Splash Pro offers an extensive collection with more than 700 of brushes for different kinds of liquids, from the rich hues of wine to the refreshing splashes of juice, and even the velvet texture of chocolate. Our brushes have you covered. With Splash Pro, you will have the freedom to create amazing realistic liquid splashes in a few seconds. Say goodbye to tedious manual work and hello to effortless artistry. No waiting, no hassle, just instant access to a world of creative possibilities. Once you have these brushes in your arsenal, get ready to witness a remarkable change in your design game. You will be able to elevate your artwork to new heights and save precious time in your process. Imagine the possibilities. Transforming ordinary design into eye-catching masterpieces with just a few strokes. By harnessing the power of its Splash Pro, we'll unlock a whole new level of professionalism and efficiency. Are you ready to make a big leap forward in your design journey? Say goodbye to time-consuming techniques and hello to a more streamlined professional approach with Splash Pro. But don't just take our word for it. In the sequence, we will provide the techniques that you need to use the brushes in witness, the transformative power of Splash Pro in your design. Here we have an empty wine glass in a black background. First of all, I will look for a wine image to catch the most real color for my splash. Then I will click here and drag to my Photoshop. Now. I can use my Palette Pro Action to do a so realistic palette for my splash. Then I will click here to play my action and I will click on the part of image that I need to catch my color. Then I will press OK and automatically will be create a palette for using in my splash. Now. I no need more this image, then I can click here and drag to the trash in my layer panel. Now I will click over the background layer and I will create a new solid color layer. Now I need to select this color here that is the exactly tone that I catch in, my, in the real image. One time that I do that. I will press OK and I need to select the layer mask here in the new solid color layer and press Ctrl I in PC users or common more letter I for Mac users. Now I go to the brush panel and I will select one of the wine brushes. Right now I need to press Ctrl plus Alt for PC users and Ctrl plus Option for Mac users and I need to decrease the size of my brush because the brush has created in so high resolution and so big. Now I need to check if my flow is 100% and the opacity 100% and if the foreground color is white. Okay. Right now, I will paint here in the layer mask of the salt color layer and I will press here to paint my brush. Look that the shape of the, my splash is not exactly the same shape of the glass. All I need to do, I will go to edit, transform and I will select the warp function. Now I can adjust the shape of my splash to to fit of the shape of my glass. After that, one time that I be satisfied, I can press enter 
to do my adjustments. Now I need to select the solid color layer and duplicate this layer here and exchange the blend mode from normal to color burn. And now I will press here to select the layer mask of the second one and I will select image, adjustments, levels and I will move the slide of the left side to the right side like that. Okay. And after that, I need to clip this second layer here in the first one. I will press Alt for PC users and between the two layers, I will press here. To make users, I need to select the Option key. Okay. One more time, I will duplicate this second one and again, I will clip clicking between the two layers, use the Alt for PC or Option for Mac users. And I need to press here to select the layer mask of the second one and I will invert using Ctrl plus the letter I for PC users and Command plus letter I for Mac users. And I will exchange the blend mode from color burn to color dodge. And I have now my splash. Look, if I use the zoom in to see so close my splash, I have here a kind of halo. To avoid this kind of situation here, I need to press in the first one layer mask, use the filter, other, and select minimum. And I will select here 1.5 pixels and press OK. Then I can see that the hollow is still here. I will select filter, minimum, that is the last one that I had used, and I will select again, and my hollow goes. Now I can see that the result is not exactly realist because I have here the reflection of the light during the photograph section. What I need to do to catch the most realistic result? I will select this layer here where I have my original image. Then I will press Alt for PC users or Option for Mac users and I will duplicate to the top of the stack layers. Then I will again press Alt for PC users or Option for Mac users and between the two layers I will press here to clip this image in my stack splash. Now I need to exchange the blend mode from normal to screen and I can control the opacity here to decrease the opacity until I'm satisfied. After that, I can select all the splash layers and can create a new folder and this new folder I will call Wine Splash. Now I can see the before and after, before and after and my splash here. I can control the colors of my splash. I can select for the bright areas in my palette, bright colors. The same process for the dark areas. I can click two times here and I can exchange the colors of the dark areas of my splash. Splash Pro, empowering artists to create liquid splash with ease inside Photoshop. All that you need to do is join us. Click in the link below and make part of this amazing community